Buenos dias, Albuquerque. Good morning, Albuquerque. Lieutenant Joaquin Griego with Albuquerque Fire Rescue. Uh, today we uh, planned a little virtual tour for our friends here in the community. One of the traditions of the fire department is the uh, ability to open our doors and allow schools and families to come and visit our home away from home. So that way you uh, can get to see what it's like to be a firefighter and what it's like on a daily basis for us around here. With COVID, we're, we've, we're, we're unable to do that and we've had to stop. And we look forward to the day that we could welcome our community members back to our station. So today, we're bringing our station to you, to your home where it's safe. We're here at Fire Station 7, West Albuquerque, West Central. Uh, this is our home. At Fire Station 7, we have two trucks. We have an engine truck. This is your traditional uh, firefighting pumper that has hoses and water and puts out fires. And we have a rescue truck that does all the paramedic advanced life support services. Here today we have uh, driver Armenta, been with the fire department 14 years. What are you doing over here, Nate? This is the pump panel. I'm just making sure everything is working correctly. Um, this is what we use to get water to the, the hoses up here. Um, this is the supply line. Whenever there's a hydrant on the side of the road, we'll use it to catch a, a water supply. And it'll tie it in here and make sure the truck only has water. Thanks, Nate. Uh -huh. Chris, how's the truck? Truck's good, bro. We have firefighter Chris Strong here, one of our newer firefighters. What are you looking at? I'm just checking all the tools over here. Right here I have the irons. This is what we use to force doors and to get into houses when they're on fire. Our trucks are equipped with all the tools necessary to, to get our job done. Um, we run on car accidents. We're all EMT trained at the basic level with the number of firefighters trained at the paramedic level. We have extrication equipment. We have tons of hose to properly supply us with the water that we need to put the fires out. Um, hey, look over here. We have one of our newest uh, firefighters, one of Albuquerque's newest firefighters, Art Trujillo, out of this last class. He's gonna be demonstrating how to put on bunker gear, right? This is one of the key uh, tools and equipment that we have to stay safe when we are uh, putting out a fire. Our bunker gear consists of boots, bunker pants, a bunker jacket, uh, our masks, and our SCBA. The SCBA uh, contains air, which will help us uh, survive in those hostile environments, that heat, that smoke, those toxic gases. Uh, at the Fire Academy, we go through an intensive training program that teaches us how to use everything on these trucks, how to protect and serve our community. Art's showing us here how we get dressed, prepare to get in and, and get to our fire, so that way we can extinguish it, so that way we can search for anybody that may be trapped in a building. One of the things that we like to uh, mention to our, our littlest visitors, the preschoolers, the kids at the school, is that uh, when you see someone like this, if you're trapped in your house, keep an eye out. This is an individual uh, that's, that's searching for you. We're coming to help you. We're coming to bring you to safety. There you go, Art. Not too bad. Not too bad. And over here to my left is uh, the, other, uh, the other unit that we have here at, at Fire Station 7. This is our rescue, Rescue 7. This is uh, upgraded driver Jaramillo here with us today, paramedic, one of our a newer members to the department as well, but not uh, a newbie to the, to the paramedic field. What are you doing here, bud? So every morning we come in to check our equipment. We're able to treat uh, people who are having difficulty breathing problems. We're able to treat people who are having heart attacks or in cardiac arrest. People who have maybe broken bones from a fall, uh, diabetic patients, and a whole other list of people that we can treat. But this is some of the essential equipment that we do use on a daily basis for everybody. We are also fully transport capable. We can transport to all hospitals within the city of Albuquerque. And we're fortunate enough to have hydraulic gurneys. The rescues are designed to treat people kind of like a little mini hospital with advanced airway procedures and such. We come over to the other side here. We have our uh, officer. Lieutenant William Manis. Yeah, uh, I had the privilege of going through the fire academy with Lieutenant Manis here a number of years ago. What are you doing there, Will? So this is my MDT. When we're dispatched out on an emergency, 
This tells us where we're going and what type of emergency we're going to. It's also what we use to document our patient reports. Perfect. Any reports you got left? Not just a, <laughs> All right, good, good. So, um, one of the amazing things about being a firefighter is we have the ability to uh, take care of our community we serve. It's an honorable profession. And so for 48 hours, we're here together, the rescue, the engine throughout the city. And this is our home away from home. And so the city has provided us with a nice facility here at Station 7. Uh, we have a conference room here. Uh, this is where we can do morning briefings, we could do training, discuss tactics. Um, this is also a space where community members, neighborhood associations have met and, uh, and utilized. Um, obviously that's been slowed down now because of COVID. But once, uh, once we get through this, we'll be back up and running, allowing our community to also utilize our facility. Uh, one of the things that's crucial to, to being a firefighter is staying in shape and staying healthy. Uh, just this morning, we had a call where we had to help lift a person up off of the ground. And so it's important that, that we take care of our community and it's important that we stay in shape. And so uh, you all have provided us uh, with this beautiful gym here that we get to, to work out in and we stay in shape and we stay healthy uh, because healthy firefighters are good firefighters. And, um, and uh, we want to make sure that we're in shape and, and able to provide that service uh, for our community. Um, one of the questions that we get from the little ones are, do you guys ever get to sleep? And, and the answer is yes, uh, when we're not running calls. Uh, we have our own bunks here. We have our own uh, mattresses and our own beds. And, and this is my office here. This is where I get my reports done and, and plan out training or whatever we need to have done. I have my own bed here too. And so if there's downtime or, or we're not getting calls, uh, we get to rest and, and sleep, which is also extremely important for our overall health as well, right? Um, questions we get from the community sometimes, if you see us at the grocery store, we're picking up our own food. We as a crew pitch in money. We, uh, we cook our own food. Fortunately, Driver Armenta is an amazing chef and he cooks up some amazing meals for us. We have this beautiful facility here where we get to cook and, uh, and eat uh, on our downtime. Just like home, we enjoy sitting on the couch, watching a little bit of TV, uh, enjoying time together uh, as friends, as family. One beautiful thing about the fire service is that there's an overwhelming sense of family and camaraderie. We spend enough time together. And so, um, um, yeah, just, just a great opportunity for us uh, to to serve. Uh, it, firefighting is an honorable profession. It's a, a profession that we all love. And uh, again, we wanted to take this opportunity to uh, show you our home. And we hope you enjoyed your virtual tour here at Station 7. And from all of us with uh, Albuquerque Fire Rescue, uh, we want you to stay safe, wear your masks, and we'll get through this together, Albuquerque. We hope to see you soon.